Hello, this is The Boring Show. I have gathered today to come and speak to you about the necessity of relationships relationships especially of those which are imaginary like the ones I have here today. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my show. What? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Today I have brought along my friends, as you can see. My friends. They are what we call imaginary as they do not really exist but inside of my mind and hopefully of yours today they do when i was a little girl i had an imaginary friend she was on the plaque of my mom's coca-cola platter that she had. She had brown hair. She was the Coca-Cola model in a yellow dress. I asked her lots of times if she knew where my mom was. She did not respond to me, but I knew that she still heard me. Today, our imaginary friends come in many different forms. They can be tall, they can be short, they can be mean, sad, or happy, or confused. They are whatever you make them to be. My boss, Brandon, his twin brother named Sandin is my imaginary friend, and so is Alex, my other coworker, his twin brother, his name is Malix. I 
really like them. Thank you. Smalix likes my scarf. Imaginary friends are great because they go with you wherever you go. A lot of times people in here in Roseville, they walk with other people, but I think they forget sometimes that they've left out the other people, the ones that we can't see, that are in our heads, that we call imaginary people. Once, when I was five, I walked to the grocery store by myself and I bought peanuts. I did not have an imaginary friend. I just bought peanuts. I don't know why at times when I go to the grocery store I get lost and suddenly confused but I remember a quote that my mother told me as a child growing up that I hold dear to myself. And what my mother said to me as a child growing up, you know what she said, Spalix? Go ahead, tell them. That's right. Thank you. And I think you could hold that dear to yourself too. My mother, she, she's made me laugh many times because I think about stuff that my mother's done. And, and um, once, once when my mother and I were at the mall and we were shopping, what's that? No, you've not met my mother. My mother, um, she has not come into contact with any of my friends, especially the ones that are here, as my mother, um, well, we were at the mall, and and she she said, "Honey, Julia, honey, today I want you to make a friend at the mall." And I, I told my mother that I, I said, "Mother, I have friends, but you haven't met any of them." She didn't believe me, and she made me talk to a girl, another girl, that was just like me, two arms, two eyes, a nose, my height. The description would have fit me to a T, but I did not want to talk to her because she didn't understand my friends. 